Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi I'm Madeline and I am so happy that you're here today. Today I am super excited to be starting my makeup collection series. This is part one and it is going to be my eyeshadows. I'm going to show you guys my eyeshadow palettes and my singles. I don't have very many singles. I mostly use palettes just because I find it a lot easier to create looks if I can look at like all the eyeshadows in a palette. I just think it's easier for me. So that is why I have mostly palettes but I am so excited to be showing you guys all of them. This video was super highly requested and I'm just really excited to film it for you guys today. So this is the first video where I've really shown my vanity. It is like so, so dirty. It gets to a point where like I can't even wipe it anymore because makeup just doesn't come off. I really need to repaint it and just get like a topper for it, but I don't have that right now. So we're just going to pretend that it's not dirty. <laughs> I do have these super bright lights right here. I'm going to turn one of them on just so you guys can see. Very bright. So nice to do makeup with. I love them a lot. Without further ado, we are going to jump on into my collection. So first, I'm going to show you my palettes that I keep here. Um, I'm just going to show you these little guys I keep up front. The first one is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Ring Me Alarm Palette. I love this palette so much. I love the colors. Um, These colors are super beautiful if you have blue eyes. And there's so many different looks you can do with this. And I just love this one a lot. It's one of my favorites. I feel like I'm going to say that about a lot of these palettes. Like all of them, I'm going to be like, these are one of my favorites. I, I love all my makeup. This next one I just got for Christmas and I'm really behind on this trend, but it is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Just looks like this. Has some nice neutrals and a random pink and purple shade. I'm not really sure why those are in there. I've used it a couple times and I really like it. I did use it for my makeup today and it's just a super nice everyday neutral palette. If you're like new to makeup, this is a good palette for you to get. This next one might be my all-time Second favorite. I know what my favorite is. I haven't gone to it yet. This is my second favorite and it is the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. This is limited edition so I'm very sad about that. I absolutely love these colors. I haven't used a couple of them like this one. I absolutely love this palette. Love these colors. It's one of my favorite everyday palettes. I use it all the time. I just love this palette. Like I can't say that enough. One of my favorites hands down. So next we have my big old Morphe collection. This first one is the 35F palette and it just has just good fall colors. I really do love the glitters in this palette. I don't like that these are the only matte shades and then this is like all glitters, but or not glitters, like shimmer shades, but it is a beautiful palette. The shimmers are beautiful. It's a really good palette and I love it. This next one is the 3502. I do not have the 350. Like I never hopped on that trend. I don't know why, but I do love the 02. I haven't gotten very many chances to play with this palette yet. But it does have some beautiful shades and I love using orange shades. Orange shades are super pretty, especially if you have blue eyes. It makes your blue eyes pop. So I really love orange, so I'm very excited to play in this a little bit more. This next one, this is the Morphe 35K, if I could get it open. Just has a lot of neutral shades and then a row of like a gray scale. I loved this palette when I first got it. I was super new to like doing makeup. So these were super good shades and I had a wide variety to where I could learn um, different looks and have like a wide variety of colors to use. This next one is one of my all-time favorites and it is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill. This is so freaking dirty like you guys are gonna be so disgusted when I open this. It's so dirty but it is very well loved, very well used. I use this palette for my first wedding that I did. Um, I did my first um, wedding party like makeup in September and this is the palette I used. I think it's super good for stuff like that and I use this every day forever and that is why a lot of the colors have hit the pan a long time ago like very much. But I just love this palette so much. It is so beautiful. Jacqueline did an amazing job making it. I'm definitely going to buy another one when like all my colors start to run out. My last Morphe palette is the Morphe James Charles palette. I don't use this one very often just because I'm not super into colorful looks, but it is beautiful and super fun to play with. I'm trying to learn more about makeup and experiment more and just learn how to do different kinds of looks. So I feel like this is a good palette for me to do that with and learn how to work with colors because I am forever a neutrals girl. Um, me using orange eyeshadow is like kind of crazy for me because I always stick to my neutrals. Next, we are gonna move on to this drawer right here. You can't really see, but I have a drawer down here that is full of a lot of my smaller palettes. I keep my big Morphe ones and then my everyday ones right here and then these are my smaller ones. I'm gonna start with these Too Faced palettes. These three came in a set. It was like a Christmas collection thing. 
And this is the Natural Beauty palette. I've used this one quite a lot. This is what the front of it looks like. It's so cute. And then these are the colors. They're super beautiful. It also comes with a bronzer down here, which I really like. But I do love this palette a lot. I've used this color a lot. As you can see, it's hit the pan. But it is a super nice palette. I don't know if they make these anymore because they were like a Christmas collection. But super cute. This is the I Believe in Pink palette, which was the second one in the collection. And this is a like still neutral but more like pinky toned eyeshadows i don't know if you can tell on the camera but these are super beautiful i love this blush that came with it and then this is a super fun night palette it has some shimmers some mattes a beautiful highlighter i love this highlighter a lot this palette is super fun to play with and then this is the christmas in new york by Too faced palette i don't think they make this anymore oh this is the chocolate shop Christmas in New York was the name of the collection, but this is the Chocolate Shop palette. Um, this was a Christmas palette they made years ago. Like, this palette is so old. I don't think they make it anymore, but it has a lot of super beautiful colors, a lot of random colors that I haven't played with too much, but most of this palette is pretty neutral. It smells like chocolate. It's one of their palettes that smells like chocolate, and it smells so freaking good. Next, we are going to move on to my Naked palettes. I don't have the OG Naked palette, and I don't know why. But um, I don't use these very often anymore. These were popular years ago, like when I was in middle school and first started wearing makeup. These are super popular. I don't use them very much anymore. But this is Naked 2. These are the colors in that. This one is the Naked 3. Sorry, I forgot to show the front. The mirror is falling out of it, so I'm going to try to not let it fall. But I love the packaging on the Naked 3. Um, I love the colors in this one a lot more. Trying to hold the mirror in. Um, more like pinky shades than the Naked 2 palette. And then this is the Naked Smoky palette. I remember loving this a lot. Yep, it's definitely been used a lot. I remember loving this when I first got it. Um, this is probably my only like palette with a bunch of like grays and blacks. So I used this for my cheer competition makeup when I was in high school. That's what this palette was for. I don't use it very much anymore just because I don't really use these colors, but I loved it back in the day. Next, this is my MAC Queen Supreme palette. This has all of the glitters. If it'll focus, I absolutely love this palette. I use it all the time. I love the shimmer shades in here. This is a beautiful highlighter. Um, my favorite one is this guy up here. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with this palette. This one right here is my all-time favorite. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is so, so beautiful. I use this all the time. It is very well loved. As you can see, this is like my everyday eyeshadow palette. And it looks super weird because these colors are nothing alike. But when you like blend them together, it is so beautiful. I especially love this color. This color really pops and really makes my eyes pop. Because my eyes are like, they're not really blue. They're like gray almost. And this makes them look super blue. So I really like it. This one I just got in my FabFitFun. And it is the Laura Geller Cinnamon and Spice palette. I do like this one. Top row is mattes and then these are shimmers, which I don't really like in a palette, but the shimmers are super beautiful. The mattes, I find hard to work with them like all together and make one look with this palette. They are beautiful and very pigmented. The shimmers are beautiful. This is a nice palette. I would just have to combine it with something else in order to make a look with it. Next, I have this little baby Morphe. I'm not really 100% why I got this. It has 12 shades in it. It is cute, but like I just don't know why I bought this when I could have bought the big palettes. But um, this does have beautiful colors. I do like this one a lot. I loved it when I got it. I got this like early high school when I was like starting to get more into makeup. Really loved it. It has beautiful colors. This next one I love a lot and I loved it a lot when I first got it. I used it all the time. You'll be able to tell and it is this Kylie Jenner bronze palette. This was like first when Kylie Cosmetics became a thing. Like this is so, so old. <laughs> but I love the colors in this. As you can see, very well used, very well loved. I love this palette a lot. We are back to some more Too Faced palettes. This is the Chocolate Bonbons palette. This one is so cute. I think the packaging on the front is adorable. Look at that. So cute. Oh shoot, my camera is about to die. We're going to try to finish. Um, I love the colors in this. It is so freaking cute. Um, I don't use these pink shades very often, but the rest of them, the neutrals, I do love and use all the time. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. If it'll focus, I use this all the time. Love the mattes in here a lot of the times. I am shaking. I don't know why. I'll use these matte shades and then get a shimmer from the Queen Supreme Matte Palette I was talking about. 
and make a look out of that. I absolutely love this palette. I use it all the time. This one, I don't use as much. It is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. And it is super beautiful, just don't use it as much because I like to use a lot of matte shades and not very many shimmer shades, but it is super cute. I am attempting to fit all my shimmers in this, or not my shimmers, all my singles in this video. We're going to do these little MAC ones first. This is in the shade Pearled Earth. I don't think I use this one very often, no, but it is a really pretty shade. This is in the shade Hearts of Flutter. These came in like a set. I got at TJ Maxx. They came with a lipstick, so that's why I have these. I don't use this very often, but it's a beautiful pink shade. This is Ginger Rooted, a super pretty dark brown shimmery shade. I love this one a lot. This is in the shade Make Your Mark. It is just a big dark brown shade. And then this is the shade Carbon. Just a matte black, super pretty. I don't use this very often, but if I ever did a smoky eye, this would come in handy locks. It is so pretty. This is from the brand IBY. I got this in an Ipsy, and it is in the shade Headliner. I love this shade. This is Pop Goes the Shadow in the shade Gunmetal. Super pretty gray color. This is the brand Meech and Mia, and it is in the shade Taupe. Just a nice taupe color, you know, it goes with the name. This is from Moods by Laura Sanchez. I don't know what this color name is. I don't think I've ever used this, but it's so pretty. I can't bear myself to get rid of it, but I'm definitely gonna try to use this. This is Catrice Cosmetics, I'm not sure, in the shade Luminous Lilac. This is a super pretty purple color. I haven't used it, but I can't get rid of it because it's just so pretty. This is Catherine Natural Cosmetics in the shade Espresso. A super beautiful dark brown color. I fit all of my singles in this video, thank goodness. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit the notification bell so that you won't miss an upload from me. I'll see you guys in part two of my makeup collection.